Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another tutorial. Today we will be exploring how to access safe mode on this Windows 10 technical preview machine. Now it's important to note that the same method would apply to people that are using Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. Now before we show how to do this, um, maybe a reason why you'd want to boot in the safe mode is to troubleshoot errors or malware infections that might have reduced or eliminated functionality of your computer. Um, in safe mode only the most basic files and drivers necessary to run the operating system will be used. So it's a very limited state but it allows you the environment to troubleshoot potential driver conflicts or other software or even hardware issues you might be facing on your computer if you wanted to run any system checks for that. Now there are a few different ways to do this. We will be going the most direct route here. So on Windows 10 we just right click on the start button down in the left hand corner here. We want to click on run. And now in the run dialog box here, we want to type in msconfig. Okay, so now with our system configuration up, we want to click on the boot tab. Under boot options, select safe mode and select minimal. Then we want to click apply and OK. It's going to ask us to restart our computer to apply these changes. And before you restart the computer, make sure you save any files or applications that you might have changes that need to be saved. So we will restart the computer right now. Now if a password is required to log into your account on your computer, you will have to type it in now. Okay, now that we're in safe mode, you can take care of whatever you need to get done. And now once you are done in safe mode and want to get back to the normal Windows operating mode, we pretty much have to go through what we did in the beginning of this video. So what you want to do is right click on the start button, click on run, type msconfig if it's not already in there, and then click enter on your keyboard. Now with the system configuration up again, we want to go under boot, unselect safe mode, it will automatically unhighlight these options, click apply, click OK. Again we're going to have to restart the computer. Now you just want to insert your password if you have one for your user account that you are logging into. Now it's important to mention that you should be using an administrator account through this entire process. Okay, so now we are back into our normal Windows operating mode. We have successfully booted into safe mode and now after we fixed any problems that we had, we have booted back into the normal Windows operating mode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will talk to everybody later.